In this video we're going to have a look at adding text questions into a survey in Microsoft Forms. So I've got my survey opened, my form opened and I'm looking to get some feedback on an event. So to add a text question I'm just going to come and click on add new and just like I may have mentioned in some previous videos I might get some recommendations there based on the title so I'm just going to click on the cross and remove those. And the second option across is text and that's the one I'm looking for. So when I click on text I've got the usual options at the top, copy, delete and I've got my up and down arrows to move my question around my survey. And then I've got my question box. So I'm just going to put a general open question in there so I can get some feedback. Not really going to use this for closed questions where it could be a yes or a no or an A, B or C answer. This is where you want to get more feedback and you want to open this up to gather as much information and be as flexible as you want to for the attendees of your event or any of the people you send in a survey to. I've got my image to insert media at the side so I can do an image or a video and embed that into my survey. And then I've got a small enter your answer box. So it's quite a small rectangle there at the moment, but I can change it to a longer answer. And I will just have a think there about how much information you might want from the person who's filling in this form. If you're going to want them to put more information in, the bigger the box they can see, the more information they're likely to realise they need to add in. So I've popped long answer on there. And just like some of the other questions there, I can mark this as required. So they need to put something in that box before they move on. On the three dots, let's have a look at what's available hidden for these text questions. So I can pop a subtitle in there. If I click back on my three dots again, it's got a tick. So I can just do a bit more of an explanation about what I might want people to put in this box. The sort of answers I want if I want to do that. I don't have to. I'll just get rid of that so it's a little bit smaller. I can restrict what is placed in this box. So if I click on restrictions, you'll see there I can change it to number, greater than, greater than, less than, less than, equal to, all of those stuff. And that's really useful if you want some numerical information added in there. So something maybe like if you're doing a salary survey or a an earnings survey or a costing survey you might want some figures in there and that's really nice so you get figures rather than just be an open free text box where anyone can put anything in it'll allow you to collect your data a lot easier and then do loads of great analytics and visuals on that much easier so you can use restrictions if you want to and just like you see you may have seen on some of the other question types you can add branching as well so they fill this in and it will send them somewhere else. So have a go on that one and see what you can do with those text questions.